Good morning, everyone. My name is McQueeb. I am very, very excited to be here today. Uh, we get an early look at Noita 1.0, the full release of the game. It's been a long time coming, and uh, I'm extremely excited to check this out. So I just wanted to sort of give you my first impressions, look at it. I think I'm, I've got a little bit of experience with the game, so um, hopefully my, my insight will uh, so, sort of... Uh, lead you to to understand what's different about the game i haven't seen anything of this yet but um let's take a quick look straight away we've got a brand new option screen um i mean all this is pretty it looks like the same options but just in a different sort of layout here this is cool this whole thing this uh twitch integration this is brand new so they've got this officially baked into the game now which is super exciting obviously given that this is an early release of the game i don't think I'll be able to even show this off yet but believe me once we get up and running off the ground we're going to be uh, testing that out yeah cool all right then this looks this looks pretty good so far what else do we have here not much else going on okay daily runs daily practice run okay ah of course we get the uh, the introduction again this has been in the game for a long time, um, probably since it first came out last year. It's very cryptic. There's, um, there's, <laughs> yeah, there's not much to understand here. This game's so beautiful can't wait to dive straight back in again it's been uh it's been a good while since i picked the game up so this is going to be quite an interesting look at the game i think lovely segue straight into the game there that's cool so this is uh being a pre-release it's not the official 1.0 release but it is it does have uh as far as i've been told all of the features that are going to be in the final release um, we're going to be going pretty slowly through here. I want to sort of, um, you know, see what's up. Oh, right. Yep, fire's a thing. Any good uh, uh, player worth their salt will tell you to cover yourself with water as often as possible. Oh, this is interesting. This is uh, maybe a new structure in here as well. Okay, we can't go that way. Let's see if we can investigate that real quick. Wait, did that water fall off me? Seemed quicker than normal. So we've seen the uh, the toxic rock area before, but never with sludge in there as well. So that's interesting as well. Yeah, water seems to fall off rather quickly. I'm just gonna wait. Was that a new? That was a new explosion graphic. Oh, I can't wait to see more of that. Yeah, we're not going to progress too far, uh, put ourselves in danger. I'd like this to be actually a successful run, see if we can get all the way through the game. Wow, we're going to be running out of water quite quickly, it seems. All right, we got a wand over here. Can we access it? We certainly can. Cover ourselves with a bit of oil. No sweat. The stats on our starting wands are interesting. So we've still got the bomb wand and the spark bolt, but it seems very unusual. Are they randomized ones now? Like, it's not bad. A no shuffle with uh, six capacity right in the right in the starting area. I'll take it. Uh, in fact, the sound though. Okay, the sound's been modified as well. That's really cool. Got so it sort of seems more bassy, like you would hear in a cave, I assume. Never mind. Broken now. Yeah, the sound is has gotten a tweak. I do remember that an update coming out um, sometime earlier this year uh, with modified sounds and it was similar to that like everything sounded sort of echoey and hollow so um, you know you're in a, a massive open area uh, which I really liked but then I think one of the updates took it away so it seems like they brought that back maybe tweaked a little bit since then uh, enemies seem to be much the same yeah, okay, so there's definitely new explosion animations. That's really neat. I'm gonna have to keep topping myself up here. 
Let's pay a visit to the tablet area. Actually, you know what? Oh, I love it. Yeah, they're they're meteor. The hits the hits definitely feel much better. Uh, we have new graphics on the way out here. Looks like the teleporter is in some kind of like this is just background art, but I really like it. That's cool. All right, here we go. We're on the edge here. Oh, we got a shotgunner over here. So starting loadouts definitely seem like they've been slightly tweaked uh, to be somewhat random. Oh, that's a nice effect as well. I don't know if you saw that, but the text was all sort of uh, cryptic for a second, but then it, it faded into uh, readable text. Fabulous smug. Smarab. Smaragdina. I've always had trouble saying that. All right, looks good. Pick that up. Let's go across. We'll get a we'll get an orb and see what's up. All right, so this area has. Doesn't look like it's been changed. Yeah, this was fairly recent change where they added the bridge and um, that little sort of narrow walkway. I remember that being quite contentious because when you pick up the orb, there's a chance that um, things can go sideways pretty quickly. <laughs> oh, right. I haven't even unlocked half the spells here. Right on. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. And we'll pick up the spell as well. I'll fully fill my flask. Love this new art. I always have with the little sparkles behind it. It's really neat. It's cool stuff. That's been in the game for, for a little while as well. That is the boss. Um, growing in strength. Okay. This might take a little while. These guys are pretty strong. Wow, he's got some distance on him. So one of the options now, whenever um, you do pick up a tablet, is that... The potential for an enemy to spawn or enemies to spawn uh, in that location in the little bridge. I think another option is for that sort of walkway to be uh, collapsed completely, which is obviously not a good thing um, because you're then trapped off. Now we would be able to dig our way back. Actually, scratch that. This is extremely dense rock. Yo, what? Okay. We need to science that at some point. It looks like... The lava melts the ice, or the, the, it does too. You're kidding me. Okay, that's brand new. That is uh, kind of silly. Wow, that is fascinating. That means that going to hell is going to be fun. That is awesome. What a, what a neat change. It seems like the, the obsidian rock, um, I call it obsidian because of Minecraft, of course, but that the rock is now uh, temporary. It gets eaten away by the lava. That's kind of scary. All right, let's keep going here. I'd like to pick up another wand, maybe. Um, now I'm interested to see all sorts of chemical reactions and, and stuff. That's the beautiful thing about this game is that everything's generated sort of in-game, right? There are set pieces in there, but every sort of effect that occurs um, is, is part of the game engine. So anything that's, uh, any fire or explosions or, or whatever, that's all happening real time. We have a trap room here by the looks of it. Can I even get in there? Maybe they've moved the entrance on this one. Oh, okay. A new sort of one? New trap room. All right, let's, um, let's just blast in there, I suppose. The explosion effect's really cool. Uh-oh. Am I out? I am out. All right, that means I need a bomb to get in there. I've done a mistake. I'll try entering from the top, maybe. Yeah, I don't think I've seen this. Uh, I don't think I've seen this little trap before with the two. Oh, I love the effects. That's almost. It's almost worth the change itself. Like the sound design in this was good before, but it looks like it's about to get a whole lot better. Uh, yep, bad guy. Stay, stay away for a second. There we go. There's the entrance. Okay. Okay, this isn't too bad. I still need a bomb, I think, to set it off. I'm not going to dig through. It's going to take a while. 
Yeah, the further you are away from the explosion, the the basier it is. Kind of like that typical trope in video games where, oh, they're at a dance club, but if you go into the back room, you hear like, the, it, it sounds as if you're you're in another part of the building, which is really cool. This looks like a great wand. Uh, this doesn't seem to have changed too much. Actually, it looks pretty ideal. This is, yeah, this is good. It's a powerful wand to find on the first floor. One of my favorites. I'm hearing another uh, Stendari around here somewhere. Uh, this one should carry us for a few floors at the very least. Uh, each one of those does 10 damage, so pretty amazing early on. The mana elixir. I'll take it purely because it's a second water flask. It seems like we're going through water a lot quicker than we used to. Collapsed mines. Cool. Yeah, that art is really cool. I love it. There's a, a nice little explosion. Throw another couple. Let's have a look. Oh, I like it a lot. So it seems even with all of the updates that have that have come previously, it's like they've kept uh, quite a lot off the table, or at least like I was talking about the audio earlier, how it was introduced and then removed from the game. Um, that is really, really cool. All right, I think we can leave. What have we got? 588. Let's save 600 just in case we want an extra roll. I don't know if they've added more perks. Um, I did read in the sort of trailer notes that they added more spells, which is amazing. Ooh, that that slime shot seemed fast. Wonder if they've tweaked the slimers. I'm hearing you, buddy. I just can't get to you. It's okay. You live to fight another day. I need two bucks. Here we go. Let's go down. See if we can find some new stuff. Um, it's interesting. They've they didn't change the fact that you have to unlock spells. Um, I mean, I like it. It does mean that it's, you know, I guess technically it's still a roguelike. Um, it just means that there's an initial uh, unlock step that you need to take. So. There's Stendari. We've got enough water. Goodbye, my friend. Alright, now we're good to go. Stendari's still very allergic to water. Good to see this. This looks cool. Okay. So we've got little training dummies. I wonder if they're indestructible. They seem rather strong. That was a lantern. Oh, wow. Look at this. New background art. New foreground. Mud. Okay. Okay, I can dig it. Let's get rid of some of this. We'll get a uh, second water flask. Don't necessarily need mana just yet. That looks like it's got texture behind it as well. Like it's layered. I don't know how long that's been in there. Actually, that could be the background showing through like it is in the water. Not sure if that's new or not. They've definitely overhauled the visuals, though. This looks awesome in here. It's like a completely different area. These ones are okay. I think we can find better, though. That one for 100 at the end isn't bad. If we're going for a survivability run, I'd say we save our cash. Take Toxic. Now, Toxic can't kill you, and it is quite manageable, but at the same time, it's something that I often neglect. So I'm going to... Swap it all out here. Thunderclouds. You could have a really strong run if you went around collecting all of the orbs ahead of time. Um, instead of doing it, you know, piecemeal. Depending on the spells that are still locked behind, I can't even remember. I assume this is, yeah, another one of these. That's cool. Exit looks much the same. And then... Bull pits, nice. Oh, hey, fella. You just know we have to go over to the um, bungle caverns. 
aka one of the scariest places in the game. Oh, actually that effect looks much the same. There's kind of added particle effects on the uh, subsequent explosions. Nice little touch. Doesn't look like they do damage, which is great. So if it's just a visual change, I'm totally okay with that. I think that's amazing. Nice little touch. Uh, if this game didn't tax your machine before, I'm sure it will now. Is that a 70 crit? No way. Alright, we are running out of mana on this one. Gotta be a little bit careful. I did see a wand up there. Let's see if we can investigate that real quick. Hmm. No easy way through. Lava for blood. Thanks, devs. Especially now that lava is the way it is. Temporary. Gonna be a fun little change. Hey, buddy. Is that teleportadium? It is. Ugh. The air feels extremely humid. What was that flavor text about? That's fascinating to me. Check it out. The humidity is stopping my shots. There is biome effects now. Oh my god. What? Oh wow. This changes the game, man. The air feels humid. Are you kidding me? That is awesome. Um, <laughs> Great wand. Uh, and it comes with an increased mana. That's amazing. Yeah, we'll 100% take that. Oh god. I'm about to die. I don't remember seeing you in this area, my friend. Ambrosia. Oh, Ambrosia would be really good too. I don't think I can easily get this one. Not with him floating around. He's too much of a risk to even hang around. I mean, look at this guy. His shots can't even reach me because of the thick air. Oh, I love it. I wonder what all the different effects are, are going to be. Okay. Uko in the fungal caverns. Maybe we call it good and go, eh? This brick texture looks new here. It's brick work, so that's our, our exit, or at least part of an exit. Um, let's get rid of... I'm going to get rid of you and pick up the Zerkian. I'm going to have to go back through this mess up here. Back up. We've got 999 bucks. And look at that. My shots are back to normal now. As soon as you're out, it changes back. Oh, I love it. And it makes sense too, right? Like humid air in a fungal cavern. I can get behind that. Definitely want to check out this wand over here. And I'm on fire again. Uh, that mana charge speed is pretty bad. I would, however, like the heavy spread. We'll take that. See what shenanigans we can get up to with that later on good mana for capacity mm, okay speed i suppose i don't think i want to get rid of either of the others though our primary is too good the bomb ones i need the bomb all right i'll take that instead of oh this is a six spells per cast so actually that's quite bad with that recharge yeah okay we don't that's just less of a reason to even bother carrying it even though i wanted the heavy spread we'll, we'll find another one no big. All right, we're not going to do too much exploring. Interesting. That was, that was a fade to black on teleport as well. Previously, it used to go bright white. I think that's a new change. All right, there's a new spell. Cursed Sphere. That sounds terrifying. I mean, you got to try, right? Have a look what we got here. Revenge Bullets. I mean, if you get hit, it shoots something out, I assume. Let's try it. Enemies that hurt you with projectiles have their projectiles shot back at them. Cool. I'll, I'll take this as well. The projectile that brings bad luck to anyone it hits. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> oh, I love it. I wonder what kind of bullets would be reflected and if you get... you take damage from them. It does say reflected, so I'm... Um, or rather it, it does say once hit, it reflects the shot. So probably both take place. Uh, I didn't see there. Let's try hitting someone with some bad luck, eh? A rat is a perfect. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? That is the same shot that the little lantern bros had. We're going to take this. The light I don't care about, but having a second one of these is probably a good idea. Um, I don't know what the bad luck component is, but it did enough damage, so I'm cool with that. I wonder... Uh... Okay, okay, yep. You literally take damage and those same shots go straight back to the enemy. Was it just me? Was it me or is that uh, was that turret a little bit more aggressive than normal too? The uh, sniper laser has been tweaked as well to make it look more like fuzzy as though it's um, shining through air, right? It's not like a straight line anymore. It's a nice little change. Yep, I'm going to deal with you in a sec, my friend. Ow! Oh. The, the, the explosions are so meaty. Yeah, your proximity has an effect on the sound as well, which I, I love that. I think that's fantastic. These guys are terrifying as always. What are you? Okay, he's hit me with something that doesn't let me shoot. My range has been neutered. Oh, I love the look of this guy. What a dude. Does he... Ah, oh, jeez. I hit myself. Is there a... Oh, look at this. I've unlocked 34 new... Oh, nice. I'm not even going to attempt to uh, say that. Okay, so the new ones, I guess the ones we find in each run, if it's going to show us how many new per run, will be outlined in yellow. What a nice little touch. I need to make my way out of here. This is uh, terrifying. As always, third stage is probably the... <laughs> Welcome to Noita. Whoa, hang on a second here. I now have chaotic polymorphine. Instead of water. What? Confirmed. Stats randomized. Wow, look at that starting loadout. That's kind of a rough start. That sound effect, I love it. This actually this wand is actually pretty dope. So it looks like maybe they uh, they borrowed some ideas from the starting loadout or random starting loadouts mod. Okay, so we need to get rid of this chaotic polymorphine so I can actually use this flask for water. Water is, is probably one of the most important things you'll carry. Oh, I love it. This is cool. Keep in mind once again that uh, anything you see here may be subject to change. Um, I am playing this... Monday a.m. Uh, the game is set for release on Thursday, so what is that? Not sure. I just need a relatively safe place to pour this stuff, because, um, yeah, you don't want this liquid getting out. It turns uh, any other biological into, well, any other enemy, period, into uh, any other enemy in the game. Uh, it's fun, but it can have pretty disastrous results. I love the way it's kind of sitting now as well. Like it's not; n it it seems more natural the way the two fluids sit together. Again, that might have been in the game for a while. I just haven't noticed. I love we can fit an entire swimming pool's worth of water into a tiny uh, a tiny flask. That sound effect it gets me. This is something special, man. I love these little tweaks. So we don't get as much there as we had uh, previously, obviously. We're going to bomb down here. 
No more Mr. Nice Guy. We're we're going for it. Famous last words of a uh, a failed run of Noita. Worm pheromone. We'll take that. Let's uh, actually drink that. Actually, let's not. I don't really want to summon a worm right now. Okay, so does this go away? No, it seems like... Because it landed in water, not vice versa. So, maybe the change there is that lava has been granted destructive capabilities, or at least destruction over time. That is a really interesting change. Spiders are great. They can be, like, incredibly dangerous because, one, they kind of blend into the background a little bit. Uh, and two, they tend to congregate in groups. Um, and if the pandemic's taught me anything, it is that groups of people are bad, so spiders ain't any, ain't any better. Um, no, but they can actually overlap each other, and what looks like one or two spiders can turn into ten, and uh, before you know it, you're pretty much one shot. We're going to throw a bomb down here. Get some more of those explosion and fire effects happening. Oh, I am jammed into a rock here. Just let me out. Thank you. Teleportadium. Yeah, the fade to black is nice. Instead of the fade to bright white. Pretty uh in the pretty pretty bad in the middle of the night. Always cast personal fireball thrower, as much as that sounds really fun. Probably not the best thing right now. That's not a bad wand, actually. Oh, I'd love that one, though. Projectile duplication. Oh my god, what? Have a chance to duplicate, but you're more vulnerable to projectile damage. Okay, so it comes with the downside, which I'm actually okay with. Yeah, occasionally I shoot two shots, and it doesn't look like there's an additional mana cost there. There might be. All right. So despite having uh, a pretty decent start last time, it seems like Noita had other plans, as is often the case. So let's uh, let's head on out. Let's go straight through. Yeah, like I was saying, the third stage is often um, the level that separates those. I remember the first time playing through the game I'd get stuck on level 3 over and over and over again. It took me a long time to sort of break that cycle. So that's perfectly normal. Um, I see comments on Reddit all the time um, like, oh, um, you know, I'm 200 hours in and still haven't managed to get my my first win. Um, again, totally normal. Did you see that second shot? I swear that second shot aimed for the dude. That would be really cool if the second shot did have that effect. A chance to double the effectiveness of weapons without having to aim a second time? Yeah, sign me up. I can afford this wand right here. Pretty decent again with that recharge, it's no good. What is this now? Faster once? What? <sighs> wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm down. Uh, we're not going to need this many double scatters. Keep them just in case we do get something pretty decent here. These aren't amazing. I actually just wanted the spells, but it's all good. The speed on this one has been improved. Um, what's... And the mana charge speed. This is um, this is quite a wand here. Why is it behaving the way it is? That speed is, uh, is something else. You'd never usually find negative speed wands, but... I'll keep it. We might be able to do something fun with that. And here we go back down to the third level. Different approach. We're going to head uh, straight down. Less exploration. More safety. LOL. This speed thing? 
with the possible double shots, as long as that's not costing me mana. Yeah, I am good with that. Oh, I don't mind taking a few hits. This is not a hitless run after all. It's just for fun. Oh my god. See? Double shots. It's happening probably... I'd say maybe 50% of the time. Watch out for those sniper shots. They probably still hit just as hard as ever. That did 41 damage. Why? Oh, that's right. I'm, I'm taking more damage from projectiles. Yeah, that's a pretty big price to pay, huh? Oh, would you look at that? I made it through. 41 damage from one hit. Wow. What else we got? Trick blood money. Um, it, I, it's good. It, I'd be sitting, silly not to take it. All right, let's switch this out. Keep that personal. Uh, sorry, fireball thrower. All right. Keep on moving here. You know what they say? Quick game's a good game. They, they don't say that. I wonder where that saying originated. Card games? Monopoly. I bet you it's Monopoly. It's Monopoly so freaking boring. That speed up is something else. It's almost like it's not affecting my mana pool at all. I mean, that would be the best thing if that was the case. Uh, so obviously, Heesey Base, if you've never been here before, um, expect some resistance. <laughs> Heesey Boys out in force, of course. Let's see if we can actually bomb you, please. Thank you. Um, most robots are very susceptible to explosion damage, so it's a really good way to take them out. Electricity effect seems to be the same. I'd love some of the classic perks right now, like Repulsion Fields. Be pretty good. Maybe give me a shield. Uh, sorry, buddy. Couldn't help you. Well, you were working for the wrong team. You know how it is. Hmm. This is kind of scary, actually. And down we go. Before I get set on fire, time to leave. All right, we've got 400 bucks. That money is a little bit of a concern. Lack of health, definite concern. Uh, what is that? Explosion immunity? Yeah, I'll take it. No rolling, but uh, we're good. We keep saving that cash. We've got that. Uh... So my weapon is not looking real good right now. This artwork, I love it. Like this, these uh, stained windows in the background, or at least windows out to space? No idea. But wait, we're going down, right? Yeah, yeah we are. Um, yeah, this weapon is, is gonna be much less effective moving forward. Um, these shots don't scale very well. Maybe with crit damage. Um, obviously fire immunity would have been more ideal than explosion immunity, but since I have, uh, cast delay, massive cast delay, we're just going to bomb our way down a little bit. There's a health up. What are you? No way! Oh no. This is bad. This is real bad. He's got new shots. Oh my god. <laughs> He's gonna be on a list somewhere in the future for sure. <laughs> oh, and they home in. I mean, fortunately they're kind of slow, but... And I am in so much trouble right now. Yeah, the homing effect is scary or what? Don't trap me in, don't trap me in. We 
Good try, good try. Spider's gonna kill me. <laughs> wow, we got brand new enemy types, or, or at least modified enemy types. This is awesome. Let's have a look at the progress screen. Yeah, just as I expected. So we're looking at um, anything new picked up that run is now in yellow. Faster ones, projectile duplication, both of those being some of the new ones we've seen. Um, amazing stuff. We've got... I didn't actually kill the plant, so it won't be in my enemies list. This is cool, man. I'm so excited to be starting fresh again. Folks, you're going to be seeing a ton of content from me um, over the coming uh, days, weeks, months, even. This, there's a whole lot more to explore. Um, and honestly, this is what the game needed. It needed a little bit of a fresh coat of paint, and this is just nightmare fuel. This is what to expect in the jungle, by the way. Um, melee immunity. Hello. Trust me, um, one of the best perks. It's been an absolute pleasure hosting you today. Thank you so much uh, for the early look at the game. Nola Games, I appreciate you so much. You've developed one of the best games that I've ever played. And um, we're going to be starting fresh again this Thursday, PM. You'll catch me PST, usually from 6 to 8 PM uh, most nights over on twitch.tv slash McQueeb. It's been an absolute pleasure, like I said. Have a lovely day, folks. I will catch you later.